Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. So uh, today I'm going to be zeroing this Spitfire uh, AR uh, one power optic from Vortex. So the essentials you want to think about is uh, picking a distance. Initially this means uh, the distance to get you on paper and then eventually you work back to your zero distance. Whether you want to use 50 yards or 100 yards, 25 yards or 25 meter uh, army zero or 36 yard Marine Corps BZO, it's up to you what you want to use. All right, things you want to do for uh, before you BZO is do a full firearms function check. Make sure you got batteries if your optic uh, uses batteries, you know, it's lubed and all that stuff. Everything's on there tight and marked. You want to make sure you have your ammo. Uh, in this case today, I normally zero with 55 grain uh, XM193. And uh, I have a 1 in 9 twist barrel, so it's kind of optimized for that. It's usually what I shoot. Uh, lately, I've been picking up Wolf. And total ammo in 62 grain so that way I can shoot steel targets at a closer distance and I have some of that that I'll try with but I'm gonna get my zero uh, with the 55 grain and I'll be using 100 yards as my zero point things to have uh, as well are a good clear target that you can shoot at and a marker or pasties to plug up your holes all right so basically starting off you want to pick a shorter range between 10 and 25 yards to get yourself on paper you want to make a group of about three to five shots and then from there you want to triangulate that. Triangulate that, I'll show you here in a little bit once I get started, is essentially picking the center average point uh, of that group. I really don't count flyers, I think it's kind of an accurate way to do that. But yeah, that five round group really gets you a solid uh, uh, point of impact. Once you see your group, and make your triangulation and then you want to make your adjustments. Uh, when you first start, depending how far off you are, uh, if you're pretty far off you want to make big adjustments. If you make that big adjustment, you're either going to get close to where you want to be or pass it a little bit and that way you can back off, save yourself some time. Be very consistent. Shoot in the same position, the same way each shot the entire time from the beginning into the end. All right. When you get on paper at the beginning, it doesn't really matter too much, but you really want to be uh, as accurate as possible. Don't look at your shot if you can see your paper uh, after every shot that makes you inconsistent and will open up your groups so just uh, sit down fire three to five shot groups uh, looking at the same aiming at the same point and uh, then check after that all right one thing you can do on some optics or irons is you call it's called zeroing out the irons you max it out left or right up and down and then you count the clicks all the way the other way and then you divide that in half and it's going to be your center don't really need to do that it's kind of an extra step that's not necessary as long as you can get on paper uh, your first group then you're good to go if you cannot get on paper because your shit is so far off then get closer start at 10 or something like that all right so I've just got five rounds here uh, I'm gonna load up and put my first group into my target here I'm about 20 25 yards it doesn't really matter uh, because when I get down to the longer ranges where my zero accuracy is really gonna matter all right I'm looking to get in a nice stable position for here just to get on paper I'm gonna get in a nice kneeling position could do sitting or even prone. Uh, I would recommend that I would recommend that when you zero that you have your stock and everything in place uh, where you want it. Holy crap! Just kidding. This is actually the first group which uh, is pretty damn centered up. It's got some horizontal stringing and that's just kind of my sway there. It's gonna, I'm gonna have to lower the height a little bit. All right, so what I'm looking at here, this triangulation is this right here. And that's my center point. And I make my adjustments off that center point. These guys are already hits that I have, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark them off. Uh, if they were like way down here or something, uh, I would make adjustments and then um, then I would keep doing this process until I get about right here and then now I'm gonna push it out to 100 yards. So understanding the increments that you change uh, elevation and windage wise at your target is based on the settings of your optic or your irons, right? So you're thinking about a quarter inch at 100 yards. So that means it takes four clicks to move one inch at 100 yards. Obviously when you're up closer, that distance is going to multiply. All right, so we got that math problem, right? So 25 yards is a quarter of 100 yards. So you multiply your increments by four. So if I wanna move one inch at 
25 yards, I'm going to have to do four clicks times four, which is going to be 16 clicks. So, like I said, make those big adjustments up close. When you get out to distance, you're going to make those smaller adjustments. All right, guys, again, we're out here uh, about 100 yards, and so I'm going to put another group and then go check my triangulation and make adjustments. All right, so look here on this optic, uh, one click equals 0.5 MOA at 100 yards. So it's going to mean I need two clicks to move one inch at 100 yards. All right, let's go check it out. All right, here's my group right here. Do a little triangulation. Um, let's see about right there, right? That's my group, and what I need to do is adjust my elevation. All right, so going uh, counterclockwise is going up, so I wanna go clockwise to go down. Again, I'm gonna go down one, two, three, four. They're kind of mushy clicks, so uh, be wary of that. All right, so that third group looks like it's right in here. Triangulation, it's about right here. I'll do another group to confirm it to make sure my windage is not off. All right, let's check it out. All right, so I got the first group, second group, third group, fourth group. It's kind of opened up here a little bit. Uh, but triangulation looks good. Just a little bit of shift of left to right, so I'm not going to make, again, any windage adjustments based on that. I made some final adjustments. Went four clicks down, again, so I doubled what I originally did. And uh, we're going to see if they've pushed the group down to center at 100 yards. I've put five down already. I'm going to put five more and see where it goes from there. All right, stand by. All right, that's five, let's check it out. All right, so this is 10 shots right here. So it's about a uh, one, two, three, three, three and a half MOA group. Pretty good for rapid fire. It's a little bit uh, off to the uh, left, so I'm not gonna have any windage issues up here. So I might actually wanna do a couple of clicks to the right. Uh, original group was pattering up here. And then I made four clicks and brought it down. First windage adjustment of the day, Went four clicks to the right. You're going to see what that does. If it's too far over, then I'm going to go back a couple of clicks. All right, that is about a 12 shot group or so. Uh, these are like a little bit outliers. But the group moved right. The original group was here. Went to four clicks over. So two more clicks back should get me centered up. And knocking targets at 100 yards, no problem. All right, as I was saying before, you want to uh, confirm with different types of ammo that you're using. I've got this tall ammo, 62 grain. Uh, I use some of the Wolf hollow point 62 grain as well. Imagine they have similar trajectories. So if this bangs that steel, then uh, I know it's good to go. Alright guys, I was hesitant to do this in the first place, uh, but I went ahead and tried it. I loosened up this bolt and then you can take this cap off and it takes a little bit of uh, strength to get off. And then you put it back down and you tighten it back up. When I tightened it back up, it decided to move the entire thing. So FYI on that, um, I always recommend verifying your zero, standing, kneeling, prone, whatever position you're going to be uh, shooting from. Again, I didn't use, I'm not using the 5.56 uh, BDC. Uh, because I don't see myself making these elevation changes uh, out in the field. Yeah. Too easy. Find myself a little buddy. 